Welcome to Inside Style. I am your host, George Varel, and thank you for tuning in today. Today's topic is all things style, personal style, lifestyle, and interiors. We are happy to have Cheryl Scruggs, who's the founder and curator of Simplicity, a lifestyle company dedicated to elevate personal style and interiors. Miss Scruggs. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. And you know, you did <laughs> runway when you came in today. We love it. You know, we, we forget Thank many times you. that this is inside style. But yes. um thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. Yeah. It's been um a long time since we've seen yeah, each you, other. So yeah. I'm just happy to be here. And yes, thank, thank you because many times people re- they won't say like, Oh, I totally remember it's been 20 years. It's and we been 20 years. At a party. Yeah. It's been 20 years, yes. Wow. <laughs> and it's full circle. I am it's so full happy. full circle, yeah. Yeah, but we would see, each, well, not see, but talk, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. communicate through mm-hmm. uh, Facebook. Mm-hmm. But um, thank you again for coming. So Absolutely. let's jump right into it and talk about your journey um, of lifestyle and mm-hmm. style and personal style. How did you the curation of simplicity what was the road to get there for you so um wow it's it's been a journey um i started my career at in the graphic design space Mm -hmm. many many years ago Mm -hmm. and it was through my work with real estate that sort of brought me to you know interiors Mm -hmm. and um so i worked with uh developers and they would ask you know, what do you think about this? This finish. So I, so I started doing finish selection, staging, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And then I evolved into residential design. And personal style and or image consulting, as it was noted, you know, many years ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, I did that probably 20 years ago after I came out of my backing up after I came out of my graphic design career. Mm-hmm. But DC wasn't ready for image consulting. And so <laughs> the interior design kind of, you know. Mm-hmm. So when you say the image, so do you think that people just kind of had their own personal style and it was just St. John's and it was blue Saint John and Nitz. gray, yeah, and gray and blue mm-hmm, suits, mm-hmm. yeah. And <laughs> the world had not been introduced to what we know today. Not as that personal. that's a bad label, but I'm just saying that, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. it was almost a uniform. It was Sorry. a uniform. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And so the world had not been exposed to personal branding. Mm-hmm. Because at that time, 20 plus years ago, to have a image consultant or personal stylist was deemed just for the elite, mm. mm-hmm. you know, and so it was like, what? Well, why do I need that? You know, mm. <laughs> so. And they were also following what people were telling them in the stores. Yes. So they they weren't educating you; they were selling to you. Yes. And there's a big difference. There's a big difference. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's a big difference between. I always say it's a big difference between uh, fashion and style. You know, and so let me let me back up. So, you know, so I ping pong, I did the image consulting and then I went to the interiors and then somewhere probably five or six years ago, I decided to put these two together. And that's when a curated simplicity was born. Mm -hmm. I put the two together, personal style and interiors. And so my work with women is work that uh, supports or advocates one having what I call congruency between their home and their wardrobe. I should look at a person, I should be able to look at a person and get some sense of what their home interiors might be. But that's often not the case. Well, it's often more not the case. I mean, uh, I'm sure I'm, you know, I grew up in the late 60s and early 70s, and what I was exposed to was everything was equal. Mm -hmm. So it was your car, your home, what was in it, your clothes, your friends. Everything came to, you didn't have a 
expensive car with no place to park it. Mm-hmm. No driveway or garage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was just now I see that you know you 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 go through different areas and people have ninety thousand dollar cars on parked the on the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I get mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it didn't pair. It's no. just I'm going to spend all of my money on that garment or that bag, but I'm going to spend less on the interiors of how mm-hmm. I live and mm-hmm. what's going to like surround me and groom me on my way exactly out. and that's going to um uh support your well-being so you know my the deck for the company talks about you know the woman who is excited about her environment wakes up in the world um you know she wakes up happy and enthusiastic And so, and that woman who's happy and energized, she's magnetic. And the woman that's magnetic is attractive. She then attracts everything that she wants in her life. Mm -hmm. And so the home is that foundation of where you get that charge, Mm -hmm. you know, to go out into the world to do your work. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize that, your home is either working against you or for you. Uh, before COVID, you know, people just home was just yeah. But when you were forced to, to st- hit, yeah, when you were forced, forced to, to stay, stay there in, and you looked around, I don't you have the around, things. It was like yeah. Now all of a sudden, it's important. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, you know, we've known all of those things. So, are people open to what you're talking about? Um, what should probably uh, it it depends how you were raised but um knowing that these are the things that are going to keep you happy not so much the things that you're wearing but how Mm -hmm. you're leaving that you have in your house that you sit on that you eat with and Mm -hmm. you know you're spending your time the linens that you sleep on yeah the towels that you uh bathe with you know, it's all of that. It's style. I tell people style is not just about what we wear. Mm-hmm. It is so comprehensive. Mm-hmm. It is so comprehensive. It's not just a car. I mean, a, a car does tell, a, uh, it, it tells something now. You know, it may vary what it might say, mm-hmm. depending on who's, mm-hmm. you know, who's driving yeah. the car. <laughs> how, how do you tell your clients to balance the aesthetics and how they're doing with the clothes. How do you find a balance? Um, and many times doing it on a budget. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you find that? What, what, what would be your suggestion? Well, style style is not about brands. It's not about the cost. Um, it's not about what's trending. It is Understanding how you want to present yourself to the world, understanding your body type, and understanding what element, mixing high and low. Everything doesn't have to be high, you know? Um, There are some foundational pieces, like I think shoes are important, the quality of one shoes, you know. Bags for me. (laughs) Bags, you know, um, um, Pants, trousers, you know, you can you can uh, skim a little bit on tops and things like that mm-hmm. for a woman. Um, but it's really doing that work to find out what you like and understanding what your body type, type is. is. So more so having all the information about you than the person selling it to you. Yes. Yeah. And do you believe yeah. in being able to identify well made clothes? They're well made clothes at TJ Maxx. They're well made yeah. clothes at. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, so you're yes. filling fabrics, you're pulling. Yes, you're, yes. That's something that, that's free. You, yeah. That you, and you understand what's what we call the hand of a fabric. You know, these are things that you know, people, people are not talking about this world of fast fashion. I mean, it's it's good, but I, you know, I'm like, y'all got a bunch of junk, all of this, Mm -hmm. you know, throwaway stuff. Um, 
um, not investing, invest in a great black dress. If you're a woman, well, if it's, it doesn't have to be black, whatever your neutral is. Neutral color is, whatever you have some basics yes. that you can pull out yes. and just have, you know. Yes. Like, I love my Gucci loafers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I've had some of my Gucci loafers for 25 years. You know what I do is I resold them, and they never go out of style. Right, timeless. They never, yeah, and uh, we're both talking about the same thing about trends. Trends mm -hmm. is something for me as maybe a guide, but there is nothing new in fashion. Everything is recycled right. and repurposed. Right, you know? right. Now, so the cut of something might change. Change, yeah. But, you know, the, the essence of it, you know, it's, yeah. it's right, recycled, yes. What are your feelings about, so those are the things that come after. What are your feelings about the inner? Like, knowing and working on who you are because the way that you walked in it wasn't your clothes your clothes enhanced what was inside mm -hmm. and let's talk about mm -hmm. that a little bit so you you know i get that a lot um um and it might be because i'm older now um so I'm not leading with my clothes. Younger women lead with their clothes because that's what they're standing on. They have not perhaps developed their inner woman yet. And understanding, for me, you know, I always say now, you know, the I call it the Gucci, Louis, and Poochie crowd. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. And so it's understanding as you said that that are you are you wearing said piece for status? And or are you do you, do you really know what's happening here? Are you the, the all of that does not make me. Yeah. Oh, the clothes I wearing you, or you the, wearing yes, the clothes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with designer it's things. There's nothing wrong because I have some. Of we the, all. I yeah. Have, I have. Some. There are things that I like, so I buy what I like. But that inner, um, that, and that very well. I mean, if you get it earlier, fine. But many people don't. Many people don't. So, to hear that first before you go buy decorate and the, there has to be a mechanism or if it's writing therapy or whatever it mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. that you're working on you yes yes and you because you know i look back and and our tastes change mm -hmm. you know <laughs> and so we have to give room for that but i wonder and it, it, that's a good question can you can a person skip over all of the trial and error? Can you really do it? Well, we see that. So let's talk about that for a minute. So we see that on a daily basis when you're going to get something or you're waiting in line and someone's <laughs> talking to other people or they're looking at their phone, mm -hmm. they're not engaging you, or they their attitude is just, I, you feel that that's the last place that they want to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That has to do with style. People think that it doesn't. It does. Who you are, how you talk, how you act, how you interact with other people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. plays mm -hmm. a big part in what who of who you are. Oh, the yeah. other things are just are just dressing it. Just exactly. So is that something too? When you say curated, that's something that you when you're talking about. Curating simplicity, which I love. A, a curated simplicity. Where did that name come from? So, to curate, of course, means to choose to be highly selective. And so that's a process, a, a philosophy, and the uh, simplicity is more of my point of view. Mm -hmm. Um you know, it's my style is 
I, I like to say is bold yet refined. So there's an element of simplicity in it, mm -hmm. you know, but touches of boldness, you know, because that speaks to, you know, who I am as a woman. And I, I want the world to know that it's someone different on deck mm -hmm. when I come into the room. <laughs> so, you know, my business has always been targeted to women and, um, I am always challenged to ask that when you come into the room and you're sitting many times with men mm -hmm. and people who are not of color, does it enhance of knowing who you are, knowing what you do, how you do it, and do it well, help you along in those circumstances? Because I'm sure it's not always been easy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I... You know, coming into the room in a, as you say, with various people, um, that's a, I'm leading with my confidence. I'm not leading with the exterior. That, that maybe gets people attention. Like, it, or it, you know, they probably feel my energy when I come in. Mm -hmm. And then the, um, the aesthetic piece is... Uh, for many people, you know, that's well, that may validate me being there, depending on what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, she's wearing so clothes. I'm, so, you know, I want to add this in. Some people think it's frivolous, but it will. It's a connector. It also can be a connector. So if you're in a room and, um, you know, people will notice, oh, that's that. This is a Monet's ring. And these are these these are pieces you know if you know. Know that you know. You know, it's not labeled out. I don't I don't typically don't do branded stuff. You know, it's you need to you know. And so that tells a story that's giving insight, a clue on who's that woman that's wearing Monet's, for example. Mm. I want to talk about jewelry. Mm -hmm. because that's part of what you do as well. How mm -hmm. do you select? How do you design? How do you figure out? I love large pieces. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. looking at what you, and we're going to mm -hmm. show some of it mm -hmm. later. But um, what, are, what are your feelings about it? So the curation process is it's important for me to choose pieces that speak to the woman that I am, the so the jewelry brand is called Maven. It's M spelled M E Y V N, and that word and that spelling comes from the Yiddish language. Mm. I did not phonetically, you know, it's, it's not some interesting play. That is where the word comes from. It's the Yiddish language, and it means one who knows. Um, in short. But a Maven dictionary definition is a, a connoisseur or expert. And so a little story about how that name came to be. Mm -hmm. So probably about, maybe it wasn't quite 20 years ago, but close to it, I was walking on U Street and these um, restaurant hosts would say, you know, we knew each other, and they would say, here comes the style maven. <laughs> and so words mean so much, and so I looked up the word. And so I was like, hmm. And so it stuck with me all those years, and so I always knew I would do something with the name. So anyway, fast forwarding years later, I'm in a conversation with a, a, a stylist, and somehow the notion um, that I spoke, I think before my son was born, and he'll be 25 in November, mm -hmm. I remember saying, I was going around by the Tidal Basin, by the Kennedy Center. I said, if I could do anything, I would travel the world and source beautiful mm -hmm. objects and sell them. Never did anything with it. So 20-some years later, I'm in this conversation with this young woman, and somehow that comes back up. And so she said, 
you know, go for it. And so she helped me launch, et cetera. But so. So let me just let's mm-hmm. stop there for just a moment. So the conversation, and, and this is for our entrepreneurs, I think we mm-hmm. all are if we are creatives, mm-hmm. is that your discussion prompted someone's to say that I'm buying into your dream. I mm-hmm. see something here mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that I want to mm-hmm. invest in, which is, mm-hmm. it happens, but it doesn't happen a lot. So mm-hmm. much so that when the stories happen, you kind of like, oh. Because there's many times in your with your dreams and the things, people, they, they come aboard after the success, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. not at the beginning. So mm-hmm, I just wanted mm-hmm. to stop there for right. people and, who are listening. And that I, this is rare. And we, you know, and she helped me. She helped me to launch this. Now it's taken different shape and form mm-hmm. since that time, and it's only been a year, not quite a year and a half since we. Well, it's probably a year and a half when we started the planning, um, but. I could, I could never have predicted that, that that phone call was going to lead to all of this. Mm. And I'm so delighted. Um, so anyway, so curating is that of pieces that reflect culture for me. Uh, boldness, craftsmanship, um, and cultural expression. Mm-hmm. And so I choose pieces that, for example, that integrate together. Now today, these all happen to be Monet's, but I have other pieces that, um, like I have a maker out of South Africa that does these beautiful, bold, cultural pieces that um, mimic, some pieces of hers mimic ivory, because, you know, ivory is mm-hmm. like... You know, yeah. Um, and so stunning pieces. So I can wear her pieces with Monet's, and that's important. That it's a cohesive story. And also, too, is it a uh, cultivated, learned eye? Very good question. <laughs> Very good question. Yes, I'm. You know, so. so it's interesting because my first trunk show, I had pieces, and they were all nice. I had some pre-love pieces, Mar- Marnie, you know the brand mm-hmm. Marnie, like this stunning bracelet, and so a woman in Richmond, I did my first trunk show in Richmond, Virginia, and she bought that. I had you know, a lot of nice pieces, but I look back now and and feel that there was, you know, there was randomness, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so the process of developing the website, that process of having it professionally photographed, et cetera, really helped me to begin to streamline. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, for inventory, do you want all this stuff, randomness on your website? Mm -hmm. You know, what's yeah. the what's core collection? Sell. Yeah. What's the sell? And I know my pieces, you know, the brand is a niche brand, so this is not for every woman. I mm-hmm. know that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know, we tackle the, for the woman that dares to be different. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, because most of the population follows trends. You know, they go, well, what's trending? And it's all about the demure jewelry, mm-hmm. you know, layering. Less and, is more and all that. And, you know, yeah, it's all which about isn't, that. But, you know. You know. Yeah. Um, so, so as a creative, you know, you, you should constantly be growing, you know. Mm-hmm. Your eye should be sharpening. And this is what we're telling as we wind down is you're giving the advice for people that are coming in and who are listening, who are thinking about creative of anything. But this is, you know, lifestyle of interiors about, you know, what the journey. There are a lot of no's, and you got that one yes 
Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. it just made all of the difference it means that you don't give up you don't give Mm -hmm. in Mm -hmm. you believe in yourself I do Mm -hmm. I do and it's hard you know Mm -hmm. it's launching a website um, that means nothing where is the traffic how do you drive the traffic there but I'm happy to say that um, recently one of my pieces from the pure essence collection and that was like our first launch of a collection if you will um, and website simultaneously and back in July so just recently one of the uh, marquee pieces which was called the Tigris necklace was purchased by a woman that um, was planning a trip to Africa in January and she searched did a search uh, with cowrie shell and my piece came up came up mm. and it's you know the our price points are like 200 and up that piece was two uh, six six hundred and she bought it didn't know her mm. so that, that yeah that giving was people what they want that was an amazing moment mm. to it, it what it said to me is this thing has legs yeah well thank you so much you got to come back and thank you, um we're going to later show some of your jewelry for our people um who will be tuning into our youtube channel um on georgia Rail style you'll be able to see some of those pieces how can we reach out to you on social media so you can find me at shop maven that's s-h-o-p M E Y V N. So N like Ma- M like Mary, E like Ed, Y like Yellow, V like Victor, N like Nancy. And the website is shopmaven.com. Thank you so much. And I'm sure you will get a lot of traffic. I'm loving what you have. I'm loving the inner and the mm-hmm. outer, my mm-hmm. friend. Thank you, George. Thank you. It's so good to see you. Thank you for tuning in to Inside Style. And remember, I am George Rorell, and real style starts with being comfortable in your own skin. We'll see you next time.